Hello YouTube, you're watching Daily Dinkus. It is June 30th and I am very, very nerdy. I mean, excited because today is Tech Support Appreciation Day. And you and I both know exactly what is about to go down here. I've got my Geek Squad shirt on. I've got a list of Best Buy phone numbers and we are gonna make some phone calls. We are gonna have ourselves a little bit of foamy fun. may not be the best best buy, but it is the best buy. Really? It's like 12 rings now. Sorry, 13. You don't have the best best customer support? I guess maybe calling at 4 p.m. isn't the best idea. In oh, first series. Sorry, extension Okay, so calling Best Buy may not have been the best, best idea. So I'm calling a little company here in Toronto called Factory Direct. They have about a dozen locations. Let's see how this goes. if you could help me with my mouse. I'm sorry? With my mouse? Uh, we can't well, find the mo mouse. Yeah, it, it's broken and I've got a, I've got a replacement. Will it work if it's on the ground? Because this kind of mouse, it seems like you have to put it on the ground and operate it with your foot. It, it, it plugs into the sewing machine, and I'm wondering how it would plug into the, the computer. It's a, it's it's the mouse from my sewing machine, and I I want to plug it into the computer. Is there some kind of a a converter or something that I could use? It's, a, it, it's an Elna sewing machine. If I tell you the model of sewing machine, could you could you tell me how to plug it in? Like was it from, like you bought it from here? The computer was from there. The sewing machine was my mother's. It's quite an old one, but the the, the sewing machine mouse. Is the sewing machine you buy from here? No, it, it oh no, it's quite old. It's probably forty years old, but the mouse the works machine. fine. And I'm just wondering if I how I would plug it in. It's 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 a sewing machine mouse. You know, you put it on the floor, and then when you press down the lever, it starts the sewing machine. And I thought I could use it as a mouse on the computer because my mouse is broken. Um, I'm afraid I don't. I don't. I won't. I won't be able to help you with that. I'm not sure if there's any sewing stores that could could check with, but I'm afraid there's nothing. I would know of. I'm sorry about that. Oh, hmm. I'm terribly disappointed. Are there any sewing there? Oh, I'm not looking for a sewing machine. I just want. Yes, I know, but issues with them. There's nothing that we can help with. Oh no, right. but I just want to plug this the sewing machine pedal into the computer, and uh, the, the the plug seems quite large. It seems too big to plug in. No, no, for sewing, to oh. No, no, sorry oh. about that. What about a pedal from a John Deere lawnmower? Could I use that instead? Um, I wouldn't think so. It's like you'd have to probably, probably like get it from an actual like maybe check with prop uh, with the profit line if they like know someone oh. that could repair, but oh. or like offer, but I'm afraid nothing here. So I, I I do have one one last question. I, uh, I find the mouse, the computer mouse, was quite small, and I'm wondering if there are any other larger, like a different kind of ant, like a raccoon, for example. Is there a larger, sort of mouse-like device that is bigger for my hands? Um, not, not, uh, not necessarily. I'm not too sure. Maybe for those check when the samples are fast by. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Happy Tech Support Day! Hi there, I'm looking for, I think it's called a geodesic condom. It's called a geodesic condom, I think, and you put it, it's like a dome that goes over the computer to protect it from, uh, from incoming meteors. It's called a geodesic condom. And today, sure, can I just explain a little better what it is, and then maybe, because I, I want to make sure you get, you get the right thing. It's a, Today is the anniversary of a Tunguska meteor crash in 1908 and I have, I have these psychic flashes and I saw the vision where there was a meteorite coming in to my house and I, I thought I should protect, I don't care about the house, it's an old house, but I really want to protect my computer and I thought I could put one of these geodesic condoms on top. Okay. a geodesic condom. Huh. Any idea where I might find one? Could I? What about a sex store? Maybe they have a big condom that would fit. Okay, thanks. Happy tech support day. Hi there, I, I'm a, a writer, I'm a novelist. I'm writing the Great American Novel and I have a problem because it, it was quite windy here today and the wind, it's the anniversary of the writing of Margaret Mitchell's classic novel, Gone with the Wind, and just coincidentally, a big gust of wind passed through here and it blew out my whole system. And I'm wondering, uh, what do you, what could I do about that? Could I, is there some way I can prevent this from happening again? I think. My novel is actually gone with the wind. Hello. Hello. That sounded kind of like a breeze blowing on the phone, didn't it? I think maybe she just got blown away by the wind. My, I've been fixing my computer. And I, yeah, I got a Mai Tai, you know a Mai Tai? It's a caught in a fan. Oh, my tie is, cho is choking me. It's caught in the fan. <laughs> Turn, how do I get the, my tie out of the fan? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, you're you're going to get cut off because I'm calling you for it. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, I'm hoping you can help me. Today is uh, it's a holiday called Celebrate Your Marriage Day. But here, here's, the, here's the thing, I, I hate my wife and I wanted to celebrate our marriage by implanting a virus in her computer. Do you know where I could get some kind of virus? Maybe like an Ebola virus. I, what do you recommend putting in there? Do I need a syringe or how does it, how does it work? Google. Okay, good idea. Google knows everything. Thank you. Have a good day. Happy Tech Support Appreciation Day. Bye. You can Google it. <laughs> I'd like to build a nuclear bomb to blow up the planet. Yeah, just Google it. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, today is Leap Second Time Adjustment Day. Um, do you know about this? Sorry? It's, 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 it's leap second time adjustment day. And you, you, you need to put a one second adjustment to keep coordinated universal time close to the mean solar time. And I need some help with this because it's important for my sanity because I need to keep all my time codes coordinated. Oh, I don't have no idea about that. Don't you? Oh, no, no. Um, do you have any, you don't have any, even any idea about leap second time adjustments? No. Oh no, what am I going to do? Okay, thanks. 
Um, I'm quite concerned about the world because today is leap second time adjustment day and I, I was told that we need to add a one second adjustment to keep coordinated universal time close to the mean solar time. Can you repeat that please? We need to add a one second adjustment to keep or something bad could happen. I, 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 oh, 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 you're scaring me. What, what, do, I, what do I need to do? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I honestly have no idea. Is that, it is about it. It is about computers. It's about the time, uh, the the time on the computer. Is there any danger if it's if it's off by a second or more? Because I'm quite concerned. You know what? Um, actually, the guy that's the expert on um, time on computers is just walking over. Can I give Yeah, please. Right, please, thank you. Me? Hi. I'm very concerned about the world because today is. Leap solar time adjustment day, and apparently, and I, I don't know what to do. I'm really scared. Is there any danger to to myself or my computer or the planet if the times are not are not coordinated? Are you sure? Because I remember with Y2K there was a chance that the that things would explode or the banks would fail and we'd all be plummeted into chaos. That won't happen tonight at midnight? I promise? How do you know? What time is your what time is it on your computer right now? How come there's no setting to adjust for leap second time adjustment? I'm not sure. If the world ends tonight, I'm gonna come down there tomorrow and give you a piece of my mind. Alright. Okay. Happy Tech Support Appreciation Day. Hi, it's Tech Support Appreciation Day today and I thought to show my appreciation for all you techies out there, I would offer my services. Is there anything I could do for you now to help you out? Do you need any support like with your marriage or your relationships maybe? Maybe you need a, I don't know, a barbecue chicken recipe or something. Can I do anything for you? I'm from Canada. Are you in India? I said it's a special holiday to celebrate tech support people like you and I want to do something nice for you. Could I give you a recipe for like biryani rice or, or maybe tandoori chicken? Okay, well, happy tech support day anyway. <laughs> well, guys, I guess that's it. Mission accomplished. Um, Till next time, happy tech support appreciation day. Happy meteor day. Happy whatever those other crazy days were. I hope you had some fun with this. I hope you will call your tech supporter and wish them happy tech support day and maybe give them a little run around. Anyway, anyway, that's it. Till next time, you're watching Daily Dinkus. Bye now.